Practical English in Islamic Context by Abdurrahman Haji Usman Unit 4 Islamic Law in Human Life 4.1 Reading Comprehension Islamic Law is a set of regulations, rules, and ways of life created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sent down to all human beings to regulate their life in order to get peace, justice, welfare, safety, and better life, both in the world and in the hereafter. All Islamic laws are contained or covered in the Holy Quran revealed by Allah to the Prophet Muhammad to be given and taught to all mankind, not only Muslims. Besides Holy Quran as the source of Islamic laws, there is also a set of regulations as the source of Islamic laws produced by the Prophet Muhammad, namely Hadith. There is also a source of Islamic laws created by Allah and the Prophet Muhammad. The contents or the messages are from Allah, but the words or sentences are from the Prophet Muhammad, called Hadith Qudsi. In addition, there is also a set or a kind of Islamic laws called Ijtihad. Ijtihad is a result of interpretation of the Holy Quran and Hadith, as well as Hadith Qudsi, done by the authorities, Islamic scholars or experts world and all its contents consisting of human beings, animals, plants, etc. are created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of the creatures of Allah work under the law of Allah. The laws of Allah can be the law of nature and other kinds of regulation. All laws of Allah have been clearly stated in the Holy Quran. Both the Holy Quran and Hadith are the source of Islamic law. All aspects of human life have been regulated in both sources of Islamic law. From Tabbara 1993, page 468. In doing their daily activities, covering all aspects of life, human beings must need many things to keep on living or surviving. Generally, all human beings have the same needs and wants, such as food, clothes, and shelter. They are economically categorized as primary needs that have to be fulfilled by all human beings without exception. The secondary and luxurious needs of human beings can be different depending on their ability to fulfill them. To fulfill all their needs, Human beings have to work hard. Sometimes they have to struggle each other to get a better life. In the process of struggling or competing each other, human beings ever make a conflict because a little bit of good can be sought by so many people. The conflict with will cause a violence or a massacre in the society if there is no regulation or law. Islam as a universal religion and the best way of life has regulated all aspects of human beings in order to anticipate or avoid social conflict in the community, nation, and state toward the peace and welfare of human beings on the world. Without Islamic laws, all Muslims may do many bad things and actions. Moral degradation will happen in their daily life. Many kinds of negative activities such as drinking alcohol, consuming ecstasy, and other kinds of drugs will be done in their daily life. If there is no religion law or Islamic law, many criminal actions such as raping, murdering, Stealing, committing robbery will be rampant here and there. Human beings will kill each other. Parents and children will fight each other. Ideally, children must love and obey their parents. And the parents must love and protect their children. But sometimes it does not happen to some parents and children. 
there will be no peace and welfare toward a better and meaningful life. Human beings will be restless or uneasy forever. Human beings will be like animals. That is why Islamic laws are very important to be taught both to Muslims and to all human beings. Islamic laws are also very important whether in family life or in social life. Answer the following questions based on the text above. 1. What is meant by Islamic law? 2. Besides the Holy Quran as the source of Islamic laws, is there another source of Islamic law? Mention them. 3. What is meant by Hadith Qudsi? 4. Is Islamic law for a Muslim only? 5. Does Islamic law regulate all aspects of human life? 6. If there is no Islamic law, what will happen to all Muslims? 7. What is the relationship between moral degradation and Islamic law? 8. Are alcohol and ecstasy forbidden according to Islamic law? 9. Explain the relationship between parents and children according to Islamic law. 10. Is Islamic law important for all human life? Why?